Hi everyone! Are you thinking about getting a Sparrow house? Perfect! <coughs> you will have the goofiest, silliest and funniest dog breed on earth. So today I was thinking to go through why you should get a Pharaoh Hound and why we got a Pharaoh Hound. Because when deciding on a breed, it's not easy. There is hundreds of them, right? So how do you know which one actually suits you? I mean, look at this little pup. Who could not want this? He's so cute and silly and amazing. When we were deciding on the breed, it was definitely my fault. So last summer, me and my partner were actually taking care of my parents' dog. And I started to try to convince him that a dog was a good idea. And he was like, but it's so much work and like la di da di da di da. And I agree with that. It is a lot of work and it is not easy. But we took care of their dog for about a week. And we had so much fun with this dog. And I think I kind of convinced him there and then that we should have a dog. But then we came down to the question, which dog breed should we get? I had in mind size, I had in mind coat. Miniature snouts, they don't shred that much, which is definitely one of their pros. And I've never lived with a dog that shred a lot. So I knew that was something that was important to me to have a dog that doesn't shred a ton. So we started to look at short coated breeds. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean they shred less, but at least it's not long hairs everywhere. And then we were thinking of size. What size should we get? I knew I didn't want a small dog again. Uh, I wanted a bigger dog because I had in mind uh, that I want to be quite active with my dog. I like going on really long walks. I also wanted a bigger dog because I felt like it was time to get a bigger dog. And for the first time in my life, I could choose myself what breed I wanted. And we were thinking through so many different breeds. And I can do a separate video on like breeds we were thinking of. It was Vishla, it was Dalmatian, it was Doberman, it was... There were so many breeds we were thinking of. Out of nowhere, looking at books and stuff, sighthounds came into mind. We thought that Whippets and Italian Greyhounds was a little bit too small. And Greyhounds a little bit too big. So we were starting to think about Pudenkos. We thought they looked amazing. They were a good size. They come in different type of coats and fur. And Pudenko was for a long time what we thought we wanted. In all of the texts about Pudenkos, this breed Farrowhound also came to mind. And it was something that spoke to us. My partner is Egyptian, not that pharaoh hounds are from Egypt, they are from Malta, but a pharaoh is from Egypt. It was something about their size, their coat, their aesthetics that just spoke to us. And of course you should never get a dog just because of aesthetics. Never, okay? Never. But... You always start somewhere. It's like when you date someone. Of course, you can't spend the rest of your life with someone just because of how they look. But maybe that's how you start getting interested in the first place. So, I mean, it's not to be neglected. We started to read up on fair hounds. And I particularly liked that they were sight hounds. And sight hounds are usually pretty friendly to both people and dogs. Uh, dog aggression is not that common. We also like their rareness. It's not a dog breed that everyone has and maybe that will come with less opinions about how we should do stuff and how we should train them. Like maybe we could do it more in our own way if it was a breed that not that many people have. I also like the fact that everyone we spoke to about Farrahan said they were so goofy and funny and had a lot of personality. And I love dogs with a lot of personality. Of course, everyone's dog has a personality. Of course, everyone loves their dog's personality. That's not what I'm saying. But everyone said that like fair hounds are very funny and goofy. And they come up with a lot of fun ways to make you entertained. And also, I like that maintenance was quite low on them. In comparison to some breeds, there is no inherent 
issues that can't be fixed or that that you already from the start know it's gonna happen. Anything can happen with a dog. Uh, every dog is individual, but there is some breeds that have more inherent health issues. And feral hounds doesn't really have that. And that's also due to the fact that they're quite rare. So they're not bred extensively. And I really like that because dogs cost money. You have to be able to take them through the vet. You have to secure their health and safety. And I just felt like this was a dog that would stay healthy for a long time. I also like the fact that they have a quite long lifespan for being a bigger dog. They live usually until 11 to 14 years. So you could say that our decision was made uh, with a lot of different aspects in mind. It was everything from aesthetics to maintenance to health to friendliness and personality and i think that is important when you choose a dog to really think about those things how much time can you put into maintenance to brush their coat uh, clean your sofa from hair what is your end goal with your dog is it to have a guard dog for your house or is it to have a family dog how much time do you want to spend training them and playing with them and keeping them active like, do you want a dog with a big personality who takes up like a whole room and craves your attention? Or do you want a more mellow dog that mainly wants to be by itself and like chill in a corner? Like what kind of dog do you want? And for me, a feral hound was just ticking all the boxes that I wanted. Some people say that sight hounds it's not necessarily working dogs, so training is not always easy with them. But from my experience, I find him very, very willing to be trained and to interact. He is definitely a dog that wants to please you. So I find him to be very responsive to training. So if you're thinking of getting a feral hound and you are interested in the breed. It could be because they look cool, or it could be because they're low maintenance, or it could be because they're active. All of those things are true, and they are a great dog, but also remember that they crave attention. They want to be close to you. They want to be where you are. They don't like being left alone. They need a lot of stimulation to not start chewing, barking, uh, chasing stuff. So remember if you're thinking of getting a feral hound that they take a lot of time. Like even now when he's small, he takes a lot of time because he craves mental stimulation. He craves have, having a space to run. And you need to be able to give them that. Otherwise I think you will have a very destructive dog because they can be destructive and they can be quite barky. Sight hounds in general don't bark that much, but feral hounds have a tendency to bark. So if he's understimulated, if he didn't get a daily run, he starts to bark at everything. He stands here at the window and barks. So it is important to stimulate them. So if you're thinking about getting a feral hound, don't just think about aesthetics, they are not couch potatoes. I mean, right now he is, but that's because we just been out doing some training and running. So that makes him tired. They are very, very active dogs. He sleeps for a few hours and then he's on it again. <laughs> so it's like, it never stops. But that's okay, because it's also a very pleasant breed to be around. So the things of why you should get a fair hound is because they are rare, they look amazing, their maintenance is low, they are funny, goofy, willing to learn, willing to please, they are active, they are curious. And if you want a dog that you want to interact with a lot, do a lot of things with, fair hound is for you. But if you want a guard dog, if you want a dog that is a couch potato, if you want long fussy fur, if you want a dog that's very cuddly, if you want a dog that uh, is content with minor activities, 
this is not the dog for you. Promise me, before you get any dog, no matter breed, think about what your aim is. How do you want your life with your dog to be? And choose breed accordingly. And when you then choose your breed, make sure you go to a good breeder or to a good shelter where they know about the dogs, where they care about the dogs, where you can meet their surroundings and see their surroundings. Always do your research before getting a dog. I hope this gives you an overview of why you should get a feral hound or maybe why you shouldn't get a feral hound. Uh, I have a video that is what I've learned from having a feral hound, which is a little bit different than this. This is more why we got our feral hound. So till next time, take care of yourself and take care of your dog and we will see you soon. Bye.